Untangle your spaghetti code with input cues. Most games have input cues because they make your game feel more responsive. Let's look at an example. Let's say with Roly Poly here, we want to attack and then transform into ball mode, like this. Without an input cue, I must first attack with B and then click Y to transform after the attack is finished, like so. If I click Y during the attack animation, I do not transform. This is because I did my input before the attack was finished. The solution is an input cue. This is just an array of our inputs that we store for a set amount of frames, in this case 8. Now if we attack and transform, we can see the inputs enter the queue, we can see the attack input gets consumed right away as it turns gray, but then my transform input stays in the queue as the attack continues. The transform input is then consumed on the next actionable frame after the attack finishes. Now again at full speed. Our implementation for this is very simple right now. Just create an array of objects to represent your input state. On each frame, update the array with the current input state and then shift all items in the array to the left. This way, we remove the oldest items and the newer items move left. Finally, write a function to fetch the oldest input in the queue that is unused. Now your game feels a lot better even when your player doesn't have frame-perfect inputs.